Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting video with Drills of Games. Today in this video I'm going to review one of the best gaming monitors. Uh, but before I start, I want to tell you that uh, I'm not sponsored by the brand because I don't want to get a free monitor from them and then I only say the good things about it. Uh, so the reason I'm not being sponsored by any of the brands in my videos is because I want to give you the honest feedback and tell you both the advantage and disadvantage of the monitor uh, or any other product that I'm reviewing. So then you can decide on your own whether it's worth it for you, whether you like it or not. Okay, let's go ahead and start this video. Oh, okay, one more thing. On my recent build, I did a super budget gaming PC that can play almost any game in 2020 and probably can play almost any game in 2021 too with a full HD high resolution. And the price is around $500. If you're interested in that, go to my channel, look for the videos, and I definitely know that you'll like them. Let's go ahead and talk about today's video. Okay, so again, this is a Lenovo monitor um, because Lenovo offers a great design and good quality monitors at good price. So, for example, we can see that this is Lenovo G27 C10 FHD WLED curved gaming monitor. What this means? Uh, we, we can see that the monitor has a very great design, the stand is perfect because you can tilt it up, down, right, left and you can also adjust the height and this is a very good feature that Lenovo is providing at this price point. Many of the monitors even at $400, $500 you cannot adjust the height of the stand. We also can see that the stand is a very good looking stand, it's perfect for gaming and your gaming setup and it fits everything very well. We can say the price was $219, the website gives you $10 instant savings which brings down your price to $209.99. Um, for the instant saving, I think that if you went to the website a lot then they're not going to give you the saving but what you can do is uh, use a different browser or your clear cache on your browser so they give you instant saving again. Uh, Besides that, we can see this monitor is a curved monitor. And uh, you cannot really see it in this picture, but as we move on to the next pictures, uh, we can see it's a curved monitor. Again, you can see that you can adjust the stand, tilt the monitor up, down. Um, and the reason that I, I unbox many of the monitors uh, and you can go to my channel and see the unboxing for them and I review many more. The reason I review these monitors and don't unbox them is because I'm not sponsored by the brand. So I don't have enough budget to get all of those monitors and I can't do it that much more. I can't do anything with that much monitor. So, but I went and see the quality of the monitors in person and I know what I'm talking about. So I can give you a hint about whether this monitor is worth it or not and whether it's good for you or no. Let's move on to other things that this monitor has. So one thing that this monitor has and that uh, I like is that if you're a gamer or uh, mostly for gamers who are want to play in high resolution and you have an AMD PC, this monitor is the best for you because this monitor has an AMD Radon free sense that means that the monitor sends with your graphic card and your CPU and then you get the best gaming experience uh, and you can see that once you use the monitor that your games are running more smooth and uh, another reason for this is that the monitor is providing 165 hertz refresh rate this is very good at this price point. I can see monitors that are $150 that are only 60 hertz refresh rate, and this is providing you a 165 refresh rate. Um, it's a 27 inch curved monitor. Again, the resolution is 1920 by 1080, and you get the FHD resolution. Uh, 
they say that uh, in full HD display you get 165 but mostly on this monitor you get up to 144 hertz the reason they said 144 hertz refresh rate not 165 hertz is because if you're using an HDMI or a display port the max you can get and you have to use a specific type of HDMI the max refresh rate you can get out of those cables are 144 hertz refresh rate so I think that uh, it's good, it's 165 refresh rate, so you can use the maximum 44, but again, since you cannot get anything out of a display port or HDMI more than 144, the rest of it is uh, basically useless. And we can see the aspect ratio of this monitor is 16 to 9, the brightness is almost 350, the contrast ratio is 1000 to 1. Uh, the monitor offers one HDMI 2, which offers 144Hz uh, refresh rate, and a one display port 1.2, which again can uh, handle up to 144 refresh rate. You have a one audio output. Also, we can see that the response rate for this monitor is 4 milliseconds in extreme mode. Uh, that's pretty much good, but uh, I definitely uh, recommend just using the normal mode, which is 6 millisecond. Anything below 9 millisecond is fine. Uh, in intense gaming, you can see that this monitor can handle uh, the response time. But uh, again, one disadvantage of this monitor is that they're using a VA panel which that's the reason they're keeping the price low but it's a good quality VA panel so you don't see any difference but uh, to me the monitor I like to purchase for myself uh, it should be either a TFT active matrix which gives you way better quality or if you can get it you cannot get a TFT active matrix then you should go for an IPS monitor but this one's a VA a little bit lower quality than those, but overall, uh, since they uh, made it a good quality monitor, and you have many other features, including uh, low response time and high refresh rate, then uh, that's worth it. The energy rating for this monitor is A+. And you can get up to almost 17 million colors. On this monitor, one thing that this monitor had and, and it's its advantage, it has the eye carrying, so it has a blue light filter that it keeps your eye from uh, getting tired and also it's for better for your eye health. And again, there are many features that this monitor has besides one disadvantage that the panel of VA it has a Kingston lock on this monitor. It's also near edgeless monitor. You can see in the image it's also near edgeless, meaning that why it's important near edgeless, you only beside you only see the screen, you can put two of these next to each other and make a large mon dual monitor. Large dual curved monitor. And since it's near edgeless, you don't even notice that. Um, there is two monitor. You feel like it's one monitor, and it's OS independent and one year warranty. We can right away see that uh, only twelve people reviewed this monitor because it's just released, and out of these twelve people, it had a four point three star rating, which is very good, and I think it's definitely worth. If you have any question about this monitor or any other thing, please feel free to comment below. I also do a lot of unboxing and reviews on all of monitors, CPUs, graphics cards, speakers, webcams, and many more. Just go to my channel and enjoy everything you like. And thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day.